First one I want to ask you about, and as we are recording, and we are recording, not to play spoiler, but we're recording on a day of the week, and what? several people wait, have wait, sent... Wait, 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 wait. We are recording on a day of the week. I didn't want to narrow it down in case the Russians are... Well, yeah, don't narrow it down. Well, we don't want them to know our schedule. My God, that would upend the world order. Go ahead. But several people on Twitter, as well as via email to cornydrivethrough at gmail.com, have been sending in questions to the show, as well as you and myself personally, all morning, about recent comments from the former Unabom, the former Kane... <sighs> The mayor of is he the it's the mayor of Knox County, not the mayor Knox of Knox County. Well, yes, it's a it's a unified thing. Oh, okay. Well, Glenn Jacobs, of course, a longtime wrestling star and someone who really got his first break under you in Smoky Mountain Wrestling, where he is now in fact the mayor. And he, I guess, put out a few tweets and it got everyone riled up. Got me riled up for a little bit, too, I have to admit. <laughs> Uh, before I go to anything that I can pull up here to read, any initial thoughts about all this? How aware are you of all this? Oh, uh, rem remind me, Brian, I say this every once in a while, but you don't seem to do it. Remind me never to say anything positive or good or complimentary about anyone ever again, because invariably it leads to disappointment and heartache when they turn out to be a fucking nut, too. And I know a lot of people, I've... Over the past several years, I have had numerous people at one time or another say, well, what about what Glenn Jacobs said or did, or he supports Trump? I haven't actually seen him out there with his arm around the fucking mango Mussolini, so I tried not to look. Like I mentioned, I think on a show or two ago, a couple of times I've had to fire somebody because they wouldn't let me not notice why I had to fire them, right? And I thought, I just won't look closely. I know he's a libertarian. He never said he was a Republican. Even though he ran as a Republican, he was a libertarian. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I know it, there, it was in the news here lately that he you know the the irony of him being a masked wrestler who wanted to drop the mask mandates i mean, oh god but i didn't want to delve deeper into that because i didn't want to know that he's another one of these but he just put it out there he he could have goddamn taken out a billboard across the street from my house i may have been able to avoid looking at that but his Latest tweet got so much derision of fucking backlash, whatever you want to call it, that everybody was talking about it. There was no way to avoid it. I avoided Adam Page's response to him, which was quite clever because Adam Page has me and you both blocked because he's apparently is. Because he's the soft heavyweight champion. Well, I was about to say he's, <laughs> he's as emotionally <laughs> fragile as. As the people that Kane talks about, but... Yeah, by the way, we've never tweeted at him ever. <laughs> no. But anyway, but yes, so Glenn tweets, If you on the left are shocked by Putin's aggression, wake up, sunshine. Historically, in the real world, might makes right. Weakness, parenthetically, which is really what the left are all about, is not a virtue, it's a fatal character flaw. And no, the U.S. should still not get involved. Uh, remember when the Republicans were the ones that were against the fucking Russians, against the communists, against the evil empires, except Vince's that they work for? Did you see the second tweet that was attached to that? Well, hold on, I'm okay. dissecting the first one. Might makes right. So does that mean that we, if we wanted Mexico for some reason, that we should just go down and say, okay, it's now South Texas, because we, because we can, I think everybody would admit we can take over Mexico if we wanted to. So that means that we should be able to, if we want to, because might makes right. Weakness, which is the fatal character flaw was these people still in this bubble of theirs not seeing 
that what was the setup on this? Do you remember that? What did Donald Trump get impeached for? Was it the first or the second time? The no, first the time. Second time. The second time was trying to overthrow a duly elected United States government. Correct. The first time was not giving military aid to Ukraine to try to fuck with them and soften them up. Putin wasn't going to goddamn invade Ukraine while his puppet Trump was around because that would make Donnie dipshit look bad. He just used the, as the KGB says, the useful idiot to set things up where it would be more favorable to where then as they eventually knew Trump was going to lose, they couldn't be lucky in Russia forever and have a guy that not only is obviously a cock holster, but probably also compromised in charge of the United States forever. So they knew that then when the guys that don't like us get in charge, then we'll fucking make them look bad by staging the invasion. But well, the point is, go ahead. What I was going to say, if you remember what the impeachment was, there were multiple people who heard the phone call and the transcript altogether that Donald Trump tried to blackmail the Ukrainian president into digging up dirt on the Bidens in exchange for military aid to help fend off what the Ukrainians have always anticipated would be a Russian attempt at an invasion, which is exactly yeah. what's happening right now. And who do you think gave him the idea? When Putin was giving Trump his instructions for the week, he said, you know, you ought to have that fucking Zelensky fellow over there investigate the Bidens. They're obviously crooked. And by the way, why would you give them all that money when they're harboring these criminals? Because Trump's a fucking moron and he admires these people and he'll believe it. Anyway, nevertheless, back to Glenn. As we know, there's three kinds of Republican politicians. There's a few rare ones that are not normally seen in the wild, like Liz Cheney and Mitt Romney, that not only knew what Donald Trump is and was and was doing, but told people. There are then the two main groups are the politicians, especially that have been around for a while, that know what he is, know what he was, knew what he was doing, and they fucking latched on because the suckers that vote for him would vote them out and vote in even bigger crackpots if they didn't suck up to him because he knew or they knew he had the fucking rubes by the balls. That's one group. The other group is the Marjorie Treason Greens and the Lauren Buberts of the world that had, had a few from my state. McConnell's smart to Trump, but I think Rand Paul and that Massey idiot, I think they actually are on that train. They believe him. They think that it was a good idea that he should be the president. They believe in all this horse shit that the rest of the Republicans spout off, but they also believe in Trump. So you've got the ones that knew what the fuck he was and the ones that actually believe in the fucking criminal. As it pertains to Glenn, I desperately still want to believe that he's not a crooked asshole that would suck up to these gullible hicks and rubes that are on the Trump train, and there's a million of them in Knoxville, just to get elected, just to get votes, which leaves me with the unfortunate conclusion that he actually believes all this shit. And as we've mentioned before, it's ever more disheartening when people that you think in every other way are normal and, and sane and reasonable and you've liked them and you never had a problem and then suddenly they're rooting for Putin. They would rather cheer for the Russians then admit that their guy was a fucking criminal and an asshole and that democracy was restored by his ouster. And they're still doing... When did the whole Republican Party become in favor of the communists? Just over a day, just... They were pissed that Barack Obama was such a better fucking president than any candidate they had could ever hope to be that the backlash got us fucking Donald Trump. Now, they're so upset 
that fucking Joe Biden beat their fucking orange haired boy, that they're taking the side of the Russians over, over the Americans. What? Meanwhile, NATO's never been more united. The entire world came together pretty much against Putin. Now, as we are recording news on TV, the Russian oligarchs are calling for peace as the sanction pressure mounts. They've now broken ranks with Putin. So there's your might makes right. <sighs> so, again... With very few exceptions, do not expect me to say anything good or positive about anybody anymore because it just leads to looking bad when the truth is found out about where their heads are at. And a lot of people I know have their heads firmly up that fat, disgusting, corpulent, repulsive, smegma-ridden, fucking wannabe dictator's ass. And, and they. You know what's the worst part about it is they all go around. Do you know what the, when I say the Jerry Falwell shit sniffing grin? I know. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yes. Where it's the same one that the preachers have where they look down at people condescendingly and just go, you don't understand what's really going on type of thing because they've figured out the whole God thing and he's around and et cetera. And they look down at people who go, you got to be out of your mind. And they just, they have convinced themselves of the truth of their argument to the point where they just, you just don't understand. And it's the same thing. They can watch footage of these fucking radical right-wing hillbilly militia gun nut God crackpot fucks using grappling hooks climbing up the side of the fucking Capitol screaming, hang Mike Pence. And return the election to the asshole that's been fucking things up for the last four years. And they still won't believe it. It didn't happen. It was tourists. They're delusional. They are smoking such hopium. Because for whatever reason, whatever fringe group of deplorables, that whether they're pro God, anti-gay, pro-gun, anti-normalcy, whatever the fuck, pro-criminal, they can't fucking see what's in front of them. And at the very least, if you can't tell he's a criminal and you don't study deeper to find out the links that he just went to to try to overthrow the government alone, but just hear the man speak. He's a fucking liar. He's an asshole. And he's an idiot. That's obvious every time Donald Trump opens his mouth. And you've got these people that are either following him because in, they have some character flaw that indicates that they agree with the shit he wants to do or... In worst case, this only applies to politicians, not the voters. The voters are just stupid, gullible suckers. The politicians that know what he is and what he's doing <clears throat> and what he's continuing to try to do to threaten to run again in three years, and they won't tell people the truth about it because they're scared they'll get voted out. That's the worst part. So whichever one glens in, fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm done. That would be me washing my hands of Cain at this point. And I think that's what it is. I do think he's a big, ignorant idiot who took a lot of chair shots and who knows how many times he was concussed and he's getting older. We'll oh, yeah, well, that, that, that was Adam Page's tweet. In responding to Glenn's tweet, he tweeted the Ukrainian relief charity and being able to devote to, devote to, donate to children. And then, and by the way, here's the 10 hardest chair shots Kane ever took over the head. And <laughs> video, one right after the other. Bing, bing, bing. He tweeted something else. Yeah, he tweeted something else. But what I wanted to say is I think part of this is just his ignorance, but I also think it is pandering. I don't think he's done. I don't think in his mind he's done. I think he wants more than Knox County, Congress, Senate. Who knows? I don't think this is a guy who said, I'm going to give up my wrestling career, even though it was at the end. 
and just become the mayor of Knoxville. I think he wants more. Why not? And, and I think and that's why he has the social and media you can presence ease he into does. retirement. And I think if that's why he does this on social media. Who the fuck wants to go to Washington? Here was his Jesus second tweet. Christ. I highly doubt Putin cares a whit about toxic masculinity, the cancel culture, Mutawa, or any of the other things the radical left stands for. What is a, 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 a Mutawa? What did you just I, say? I don't even know. M-U-T-A-W-A. I thought it was Masawa at first, but I Is that like Kofefi? Not. Or what did, what, <laughs> was he something, was he trying to say a real word? Hold on, let me look it up. Mutawa. Uh, the religious police in Saudi Arabia, whose duty it is to ensure strict adherence to establish codes of conduct. So what? The cancel well, culture police, I guess, in his eyes. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, boy. <sighs> anyway, there you have it. Another one bites the dust. No surprise. No surprise with this one, unfortunately. He's exposed himself plenty of times in the last few years, and this one I think is finally I can't everyone look who he sideways. I can't, I can't look away. They will dangle it in front of me. Every single one of them. <sighs> well, perhaps we can go back to better times when he seemed normal, when he looked like Sid, <laughs> when he seemed like he had the potential to be a great guy. Maybe we can go back to those days where he was Unabom. We can get a nice painting made that you could hang in Castle Cornet. You know, that in happier times, that would be the caption. Where there, there he would be in the Unabom outfit and... I'd be pointing at him, and we'd be smiling instead of him being a nut. That's what you can have, folks, if you patronize our friends at Paint Your Life. You can have a painting on the wall of the way you wish people were instead of the asshole way they really are. Whether you're making new memories, holidays, vacations, getting out, and and making new memories with your loved ones or memories from way back, way back, Brian, way back years ago, uh, with different generations of your family, all these things can be turned into a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photograph and at an affordable price, as we mentioned, from one picture or a combination of pictures. Put generations, different generations that never coexisted, all together in the same painting. You could have you could have Glenn Jacobs and Nikita Khrushchev and Groucho Marx. Ayn Rand. Or, or possibly Karl Marx. <laughs> Ayn Rand, whatever the case may be. Choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect. You can receive your portrait in as little as two weeks. And as I said again, send any picture, yourself, your kids, family, a special place, a cherished pet, even an action shot. That's what it says. I wonder what kind of action. Folks, if you've been getting some action and you have some pictures of it, they can make an oil painting out of it. Or your children playing your favorite sport. Or their favorite sport. Do you make your children play your favorite sport even if, you don't, if uh, they don't like it? Well, this makes the perfect birthday anniversary or wedding gift. Or you can just let them stop playing that fucking sport. Anyway. <laughs> All right. It's meaningful, it's personal, and it can be cherished forever. Forever. These things last. I'm telling you, you'll be dead in the ground with pushing up daisies. These things will still look lovely. But it's a great gift for family members or people you want to piss off and show them how good you look. At PaintYourLife.com, there's no risk. If you don't love the final painting, your money is refunded, guaranteed. And right now is a limited time offer. Get 20% off your painting, 20% and free shipping. If you text the word DRIVE, D-R-I-V-E, to 64,000, that's 64 with three zeros, DRIVE, to 64,000, 20% off and free shipping. Paint Your Life. Celebrate the moments that matter most. Message and data rates may apply. Terms apply. Available at paintyourlife.com slash terms. Drive to 64,000. That's right. And we're going to drive to another question in a moment. But I have to say, in looking at Glenn Jacobs' tweet, some of the people who retweeted it, I'm looking at some of the comments here. These are pretty funny. 
Starting to understand why The Undertaker tried to burn him down as a kid. Oh. Might makes right, huh? My man went from corporate Kane to Gestapo Glenn. <laughs> I like this one. Wow, just when you thought you heard the worst from a MAGA GOP scumbag, here comes some more unimaginable shit. <laughs> 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 and here's a quote from Mick Foley in 2018. We didn't know the long-term effects of headshots and concussions back then. And I guess that's where we'll wrap it up, and we'll see what else happens with the mayor 